totally different game than baseball. Even though it's you against the course, I mean, it's definitely mental. And I think uh, golf can actually help your baseball game, to be honest with you. <laughs> what do you uh, what do you remember? I know it hasn't been that long, but uh, your year here, what do you remember? Great stadium, good people. You yeah, know, definitely like playing here. I mean, the fans definitely made it enjoy. The front office was always good, and uh, you know it was a good environment to play in. You know, other than getting past the cold weather the first couple <laughs> months, you know it was definitely a good environment, good teams. And, you know, we had a lot of fun here, so definitely good to come back. And you know, it's special to be a part of the Hall of Fame here. So. So that is ni a nice thing for you, to w when a team you used to play for, you know, is able to put you in their Hall of Fame, I guess? You know, it's funny, uh, I was talking to Bob over there doing the interview, yeah. and he goes, you know, you're the only active player to be, you know, inducted into the Hall of Fame. I didn't realize that. And I was like, no, I didn't know that. And he actually brought that up to me. I said, you know, that's kind of funny, but it's awesome in the same sense. You know, so <laughs> it's definitely, like I said, it's definitely an honor, Yeah. you know, to be, be put, put in the Hall of Fame here, because I can play my whole career and never make any Hall of Fame. <laughs> And, uh, you know, just to be a part of the Hall of Fame along the way is definitely awesome. That, that leaves a legacy somewhere. And I have a son, so, you know, I can tell him about that one day. He might think it's pretty cool. So, he's like, yeah, my dad actually did something one day. But, you know, it, it's definitely, definitely an honor. And to be back here and see some old faces, and, you know, it's just uh, definitely good. Do you well, go ahead, go, no, I was going to say, do you remember the whole batting title Flap here when you when you were here about because you missed a, some games and yeah, I missed about first month. they weren't going to give you the title and yeah well you know I don't know how that happened but our manager brought it up where he substituted the 0 for 40 or something yeah like that. yeah but, you know, so you remember it was that definitely definitely fun to have that honor you know to win that title and uh, you know to, to go on to the next step you know being here I definitely enjoyed my time and you know having success here enabled me to get to where I was sure. so. You know, this is definitely one of those stepping stones along the way. And you just enjoy your time while you're here and you just keep progressing and progressing. And you know, I think the Angels do a good job of finding the, the right facilities to, to house our teams and the right people to, to run the Ireland systems. And, you know, you, you just have fun along the way. And you, you grow up with a lot of guys that are, you know, kids just like you. So, you know, it's definitely fun and I'm definitely blessed to be where, I, where I'm at today. So. Well, this was kind of your first big splash in the organization uh, when you took the batting title and uh, all the other accolades here, and uh, that kind of pushed your pushed your career, got you kind of in the forefront of, as far as the Angels are concerned. Yeah, it, you know, being here and doing what I did here, it was something that, that I think helped them believe. I think they already believed in me. You know, in Provo the year before, I had a pretty good year. And coming into here, you know, I had, I had a pretty good year here also, and then they were like, you know, I thought that they, they saw that I was progressing more and allowed them to believe in me a little more. And then with that rancho level, you know, I had some success there also. You know, I split time there going up to, you know, Arkansas and having success there. I mean, I think it opened, opened some eyes a little more. And, you know, and I think for me it was great to have that opportunity to do those things and to, to go from, you know, being in low A the next year to being in double A, you know, and then the fall league and the major leagues the next year. I mean, I think that was something I would never would have dreamed would happen. So, you know, it was definitely real for me. And, you know, it's definitely a good thing that you can tell younger guys. You know, I still talk to a lot of the Ireland guys. I know a lot of those guys like uh, P.J. Phillips that played here. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, there's, I mean, just a lot of those young guys that come up through the system and they think, oh, well, I'm so far away, but you're not that far when you really look at it. Yeah. <laughs> by the other by the other token, uh, you had to spend a little time in the minor leagues again last year. Uh, what was that like? And, and obviously it must have ended up helping you because you had a great second half. Uh, it just helped me refocus, I think, going right? back down, get, get back to playing the game that I knew how to play. It had a lot of voices in my head. And it just helped me clear, my, clear myself up mentally. You know, Jim Eppert does a great job down there with the – hitting and you know he's our hitting coach down there and you know he just kind of for me he gives you the food for thought you know he doesn't really work with you mechanically a lot and for me at the time you know it was just a great decision for me to be in AAA and find myself again and once I got back it kind of helped me play and relax and not worry about you know this or that and I just played the game and just had fun and didn't yeah. really focus too much on the results I just sure. played and, and the results were there it wasn't like before I was hitting the ball well you know I was striking out I mean, I was wasting a lot of bats, but I was still striking the ball well to strike at people. But, you know, nonetheless, I mean, it helped me refocus my game sure. and come back and a better player. Sure. You had the uh, kind of a tumultuous offseason for the Angels. Uh, you're going to have a different look when you get on the uh, field for 2010. And uh, what do you think about that? Uh, we lost some good guys, you know, with Figgins and Lackey. 
and then also Vladdy. I mean, it's tough to replace those type of players. They're type A guys. And, you know, it, it's going to be tough replacing them, but we got, some, we got a strong team still. A lot of the offense is still returning to where you was a key piece last year. I mean, he helped us all as younger players, you know, seeing his approach, the way he, he played the game, and then with Torrey, their attitudes towards the game, the way he plays. I mean, it's definitely great to have veteran guys that are, that are leaders and that, that through their actions on the field, you can see how they play the game. And it, it wears off on the rest of the locker room. I mean, our chemistry in the locker room is great. So, you know, adding Matsui, adding uh, Pinheiro, I think those guys will help us out a lot. And uh, like I said, it's tough to replace Figgins, Lackey, and Guerrero because there's a lot of production in those guys. But we definitely have the talent to, to pick up the slack. You know, uh, Weaver, great, he had a great year last year. Irvin Santana's capable of being the ace. And then Saunders, if he goes out and does what he did in 07 or in 08 when he made the All-Star team, I mean, it, it, we're going we're gonna to be a tough team to beat, too. You know, I know Seattle made a lot of moves, and Texas had some pieces. But, you know, our team, we got a lot of good young players that can play. And if we all come into our own, I think we'll be competitors again this year. Howie, good luck. We'll, uh...